How's it going everyone? Dr. Ben Hassin here, your internet doctor dad that cares about you. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to maximize testosterone absorption when you are using testosterone gel. This video is really important for me because I see more and more people when they do need testosterone, whether it is a trans person using it as a form of gender affirmation or anyone who is low on testosterone and using it to increase their testosterone levels in their body, that the option of testosterone gel is becoming more and more accessible over the years. When I first started taking testosterone, testosterone gel was super, super, super expensive. Usually insurance never covered it. Nowadays, I see more and more insurances covering testosterone gel and I see it becoming more and more affordable, which makes it very, very beneficial to patients who usually have a form of needle phobia or needle scares to have another modality of uh, getting their testosterone. But similar to other modalities of testosterone, there are pros and cons to which method you choose uh, to take your testosterone. I still choose to take subcutaneous injections, but testosterone gel's biggest cons are its rate of absorption, uh, depending on the type of skin you have, and, and uh, people's reactions to the gel components themselves. But one of the things that can kind of augment uh, whether or not you can tolerate testosterone gel is doing the practices needed to make sure that you absorb as much gel as possible. Now, before you watch this video, I really want to emphasize that this is specifically for people who have not taken testosterone gel yet and want to do the best practices to make sure that they absorb as much testosterone as possible so when they go see their doctor they see their levels um, be pretty consistent now if you're already taking testosterone and you're already hitting those levels i don't think this video is going to be beneficial to you because you're already hitting your mark unless you realize that you're having to take more and more but i highly encourage you that before you do any of these practices whether or not you have started testosterone gel already or you're planning on switching to testosterone gel that you talk to your doctor about these practices and y'all work together to uh, make sure that you're hitting those goals that you are hitting when you come in for your hormone level checks with each visit my main goal of this video is to just review the evidence-based practices of applying testosterone gel to make sure that it is a viable option for you to continue to take your hormones so that you don't have to switch to a new regimen or that if you feel like you're not hitting those levels trying something new before you end up switching your regimen so that uh, we try everything that we can uh, to make sure that you are getting those level goals that is good for your body and your transition goals or your low T goals so one of the fundamentals of making sure the hormone is absorbed into your skin from the gel is to talk about how we can increase skin absorption, but also make sure that um, we are applying it somewhere where there's good circulation, meaning that there's enough blood vessels going through that area of the skin. So placement of where you apply the gel is actually pretty, pretty important. We, we wanna place it somewhere where there's good amount of blood vessels rushing through it. So evidence-based wise, um, they have shown that applying it to the shoulder region actually is one of the best areas to apply t-gel because we actually do have quite a number of blood vessels that go through our arms and uh, run down and they're pretty big they're big enough to absorb a lot of any topical medication that we may apply another thing you should know is that you can actually split uh, where you are applying your gel so you don't have to just apply it to one shoulder you can actually split your dosage into applying half uh, like rubbing it on your hands and applying some of it to this shoulder and some of it to the other shoulder. It doesn't affect how much you absorb. Uh, studies have shown that you people have placed it on four different sites. As long as it's the same amount that you're applying to, it shouldn't really affect how much is being absorbed. Now let's talk about showering because showering can actually help but also reduce your absorption. What does that mean? <laughs> what am I talking about? Well, the thing is, is that if you apply testosterone after a hot shower, it is actually super, super beneficial because a hot shower opens up the pores on your skin, which increases absorption. Also, it gets rid of all the dirt and grime that you've accumulated throughout the day. So the barrier between applying the gel and the skin, it's as clean as possible. There's no dirt getting in the way that can inhibit your absorption, but 
after applying T-gel, do not shower for at least two hours. You need that two hour window to make sure that your body absorbs as much of the hormone as possible. Now, what about wearing clothes? Will my clothes wipe away the hormone if I were to put on clothes after a shower? Well, another really good thing is that after the gel dries, the hormones basically stay intact on your skin. It just needs time for it to get seeped in through the skin and into your circulation. So you can wear clothes after the gel has dried on your skin, which doesn't really take very long. Um, just be shirtless. I mean, <laughs> just be uh, unapologetically shirtless for a little bit before you put clothes on until it dries and you'll be fine. Just make sure not to shower within two hours of application of the gel. Okay, so at this point, you're doing everything right. You're following all the instructions I've told you so far. You're making sure that your skin is clean and that you're not wiping away or showering way too quickly after applying the testosterone gel. But let's just say you're the type of person who loves to put on lotion, who loves to put on sunscreen because you get ashy, cracked, or that you get sunburned easily, which I really love moisturizing my hands. It's one of the reasons why I actually tell people I did not go into surgery because I hate the, I hate not being able to moisturize my hands after scrubbing in. But um, luckily for you all, um, putting on a moisturizing lotion um, with SPF is super, super beneficial to testosterone absorption. And I'll be explaining why. So when you apply any form of moisturizing lotion, you actually make your skin more able to absorb water-based compounds. Like um, if you've taken anatomy, if you've taken some form of biology class, you'll know that the reason why we have skin is it creates a water repellent, repellent barrier uh, for our body so that we don't take in the environments stuff and that can kill us but um allowing a moisturizing lotion and allowing our skin to absorb that moisturizing lotion really makes our skin able to absorb a little bit more water-based products and as you know testosterone gel is actually suspended in a hydrophilic compound skin is a hydro mostly hydrophobic compound so when you make your skin more absorbable to water it is more likely to absorb the uh, the gel which is more likely to absorb the hormone in addition we know from multiple studies that uv rays from the sun is damaging and that it, cre it creates things like cancer melanoma skin cancers but it also degrades compounds you'll know that a lot of beauty products that are bought it actually recommends that you keep them away from light and the sun because it can be degraded over time uv rays are super super um powerful and they can damage and degrade a lot of different materials like even your car if you leave your car out into the paint and don't wax it your paint's gonna start to fade because that's how powerful UVB rays are so when you apply an SPF to your arm and go outside with your T gel applied if your skin gets exposed to those UVB rays it can actually damage the compounds that make up the T gel anyways those are the most evidence-based information I could find on the internet and through the scientific journals on maximizing testosterone gel absorption, just any medication gel absorption and how to maximize these methods are super, super effective. And I highly recommend that you do your own literature search. If you are a T-gel user, I would love to hear your opinion on how you um, apply testosterone gel and how you maximize absorption. Feel free to post in the comments below because oftentimes there's not a lot of research on these kinds of things and your experiences actually heighten um, the medical literature on gender affirming care and hormone replacement therapy. So your opinion is valued. Please, please um, teach us and um, let me know about things I can tell my future patients. As I've said, if you're doing everything that you can and you still don't see the levels that you want to be at, it might be a good idea to explore other options. Some people's skin are just super, super resistant, which can be a benefit to you in other ways, but not as big of a benefit to you when it comes to uh, topically applied medication. And then just exploring other options. Like I've said, I've been doing really, really well on subcutaneous injections. I did like IM injections, but I just didn't like the long-term scarring concern. And uh, I've just had to use less testosterone overall with sub-Q, and I found that to be my optimal um, modality of getting my hormones so i i do encourage that everyone 
uh, regardless of whether or not you're taking testosterone specifically, everyone taking any form of medication, if there's different modalities on how to administer it into your body, just try them out and see which one works best for you because everybody's going to be different. And there is no, there's no research paper that can represent everyone's experience. Anyways, y'all, that's it for this video. Uh, I've said what I needed to say. I hope you found this information helpful and I hope you'll share it with someone that may benefit from this information and please 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 feel free to follow me on instagram and twitter to keep up with my daily life and activism work i do a lot beyond these youtube videos and uh i guess i'll see y'all in the next video ah this is dr ben